Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome back to another PS4 tutorial. So it looks like we may have a temporary fix, at least for the black screen and save data corruption issues on 9.00 to 9.60 firmwares, which can load the new Laps kernel exploit from the web browser using the PS3 WebKit exploit. Any higher firmwares than 9.60, that WebKit exploit was patched, so we have to use the Lua games to load the jailbreak. But on firmwares 9.60 and lower, we can still load it from the web browser instead. And it's actually a really great exploit because it only takes a few seconds to launch from the web browser. The main problem and the reason why it's been recommended to use older jailbreaks on these firmwares uh, up until now, like the pppone exploit and the older xfat hack exploit with the USB drive on 9.00, has been because of these black screen and save data corruption issues that you get with the lapse exploit when loaded from the web browser. You get an issue where certain games will just get a black screen when you load them and it will not boot into the game or you'll get save data corruption issues when you try to load a save file. So these are issues that we've had up until now and there is now a temporary workaround at least. So this coming to us from Chameleon who says that a user called uh, Rand Kalan basically discovered that the older AIO fix plugin for Gold Hen, if applied on 9.00 to 9.60, can resolve these problems. So all you have to do is install this plugin and enable it and it should work. And if this does turn out to be a permanent fix, I suspect we will see it implemented in the exploit code itself instead of having to use this plugin. So in the future, the plugin will probably not be required. But anyway, for now, you can use this plugin to resolve the issues. So let's go ahead and install it here and see if it does in fact work. So what we need to do is download the latest Gold Hen plugins from the repo. So from the Gold Hen plugins repository, we'll download the zip file and then extract it out to our desktop here. So we get the plugins folder with the plugins and the plugins.ini file, which contains, of course, uh, the plugins that we're going to be loading. So if we open up the INI file, we can either load the plugin when we load a specific game, or we can just load it for everything for default. So any game you load, the plugin will be applied. That is the idea. So we'll go ahead and add it to this section here. So what we're looking for, if we open up the plugin section, we can see we have the plugin here, AIO fix for 5.05.prx. If we go ahead and basically copy the name of this plugin, we can paste it into the default section underneath the game patch plugin. So we'll do forward slash data, forward slash gold hen, forward slash plugins, and then forward slash and paste in the name of the plugin. And then we can save it. And all we have to do is upload this back to our PS4. So of course, if we switch over to our PS4 here, so if I go ahead and run the internet browser, so I'll just use NASCI's host for this, which is on nasci.github.io slash PS3. You can host it locally as well. I've done videos on that. But as you can see, we'll get this loaded. So my PS4 is currently on 9.00, but theoretically this should work on, you know, pretty much all 9.xx firmwares up to 9.60. I'm just running on 9.00 for now, but we'll let it install the offline cache. Okay, cache success. So we can now go ahead and refresh the page. And now we'll load the jailbreak and we'll see how fast this loads. Just takes a couple of seconds and bam, we're up and running with the jailbreak just like that. Not enough free system memory errors, not a problem. We also want to make sure we have the FTP server running there. So if we head over to Gold Hen, just make sure that in the server settings that you have enable FTP server ticked and that you have a connection to your network so that we can connect using um, FTP. So if we head over to settings, scroll down to our system, system information, grab our IP address, 192.168.137.80. So what we can do is switch back over to our computer, load up an FTP client like FileZilla, enter the IP address in the host box. So 137.80 and then the port number 2121, quick connect to connect to our console. And then we're going to head into the data folder here, go into the gold hen folder, and then we have the plugins folder right here. So what we want to do is just upload the plugins folder and the plugins.ini file into this Gold Hen folder. So we'll just copy it in here. If it asks you to overwrite anything in there, just say yes. So if we go into the plugins folder, you can see all of the plugins have been uploaded and we have our plugins.ini file showing up here. So that should be all good. So at this point, if we just switch back over to our console, we should be able to enable the plugin by heading into the settings and going to plugin settings and we can enable the plugins loader, which will activate the plugin. Now, just to show what happens if I do not have this loaded, just to kind of demonstrate the problem. So Grand Theft Auto Vice City is one of the ones, or this definitive collection is one of the ones that has the black screen issue. So when I try and launch it here without having 
uh, the plugin enabled right now, it should not work. So we'll just get a black screen. It can actually be quite difficult to even get the game to exit after going into this black screen. So there it is. As you can see, we load the game, we just get a black screen. So it's not working. And I'll give this some time because this game does have like a backport patch, I believe, for getting it working on 9.00 with this version, which um, kind of causes it to take a while anyway. So it normally does get a black screen and then eventually it will get into the game after, you know, a minute or so. So we'll give it some time just to make sure it actually really is stuck on the black screen and it's not just the normal amount of time. Okay, I think we've given it long enough now. It's still stuck in a black screen. So we're going to go ahead and just close out of the game. And there we go. So that is basically it. So it's not running. It's just giving us a black screen. So all we need to do is... And now, first of all, it may have created a corrupted save there. So let's just go ahead and make sure if it did create a save. Yeah, it did create a save. So I'm just going to delete that. So it can basically start from scratch. And now we'll go ahead and enable that plugin so plugin settings enable plugins loader so that should activate the plugin and i will try and load it again and see if this time we actually get into the game so it may take again a couple of minutes because i've tested this using an older jailbreak that doesn't have the black screen issue and it's still black screens for like i don't know 10 20 30 seconds maybe until it actually gets into the game here but uh, with the lapse jailbreak with the web browser, it's just stuck in a black screen permanently. Whereas hopefully now with this plugin enabled, it will actually eventually get into the game. Yep, and there we go. As you can see, the game is loading up here. So it does seem to fix the issue, at least, you know, temporarily. I don't know if it may cause other problems, but for now anyway, it certainly seems to be resolving this issue. So I'll just go ahead and uh, maybe create a save file, make sure that we can relaunch the game and load the save file without any problems. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so here we go. Save successful. Just created a game at the beginning. So there we go. We have a save file now. So I'll go ahead and exit out of the game and load it back up again and see if the save ends up being corrupted or if we're able to continue our progress. Okay, loading back up here. And yep, we have a resume option. To resume game. I mean, we, we know by now anyway, because, you know, it would have probably come up seeing save data corrupted as soon as the game was loaded. If there was a problem. But I think we're good. And yep, we're back where we started. So the save is working. So save game issues seem to be resolved. And also the black screen issue seems to be resolved as well. We're able to actually get the game loaded. So yeah, definitely something to try out if you want to be able to use the lapse exploit on 9.00 to 9.60 instead of the previous jailbreaks which um, take a little bit more effort to load like having to use a USB drive or a Raspberry Pi or a Luxfox device to jailbreak. Instead you can just do it entirely through the web browser and by enabling that plugin you can kind of fix some of the, the main problems we had with using that exploit. Now does this fix every problem? Obviously we don't know yet it probably needs more testing so I would maybe exercise a little bit of caution uh, going with this particular method in case you know, there's some unforeseen problem that it could cause. So I don't want to obviously endorse using this entirely. Maybe it's best to wait for, you know, a proper implementation in the exploit itself instead of relying on this plugin. And it might not be long before that happens either. So instead of setting up the plugin, you could just wait for a fix to be implemented in the exploit itself. So the plugin's not required. But if you want to have a go with it and get loaded with the jailbreak and you don't really mind, you accept the risks, then yeah, by all means, go ahead and give it a try and you'll be able to load your games uh, without the save data corruption or black screen problems that we had before. Anyway, just wanted to make a quick video to point that out for anybody who was unaware that it looks like there is a temporary fix now for the black screen issues and the save data corruption problems. And uh, it was a good find there by uh, Ran Callan to figure that out. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And once again, I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one.